Hello everyone, my name is Cold Faison, and welcome back to Lone Survivor. In the last episode, we lured the monster into the basement, and it started chasing us, and we ran for our lives! It was so scary! But, we managed to escape from the basement, and we were finally able to make it to the front doors, to the outside, and to the city. So today in this episode, we are going to be exploring the city and seeing what awaits us. Woohoo! And oh my gosh, I am so pissed off. So, okay, let me, let me do my little rant real quick. Yesterday, early this morning, early, early, like 1, 2 in the morning, I recorded the episode, right? And everything got done, and in my action, my, well, I use action. It's a, sc it's a screen recorder for games and for your screen, da-da-da. All right, so what happened was I got done with the recording, and I usually have some scrap footage I usually get rid of because I, I'm kind of like, don't feel it in the beginning of episodes. I kind of delete it, like, 10 seconds in, I try to, like rehearse and stuff like that, make sure the introduction's good. Anyways, I deleted those footages, because I don't need them, and I left the episode that I wanted to edit for, the, you know, this episode. Well, I clicked on the episode, opened it up, and it was my last episode's video. I was so pissed, because once you delete your videos in the recording, it permanently deletes it. And I, like, had software, I tried to download software to uh, salvage it, because there are softwares out there that can actually salvage permanently deleted files. Yeah, I know, it's like, oh, it's permanently deleted, what? So I couldn't retrieve it, and I had to play the game all over again, because there's only one save file to this game. But it wasn't that bad, because uh, this game, if you can, if you know your way around, your way around, and, like, you play this game nonstop, you can beat this game in, like, two hours, it's pretty short. Um, but yeah, I'm not mad anymore. I was super pissed last night because I was tired and I wanted to get it over with and done. I was just like, oh my god. But yeah, anyways, that's what happened. So, uh, my inventory might be a little bit different because I, like, blazed through the beginning of it. But, um, yeah. Anyways, um, at the end of the last episode, we picked up a key here. And we went up the fire escape doors up here to get to the fire escape. What did I say fire escape door? The fire escape stairs. We use the stairs to go up there to unlock the fire escape door. Which leads to our bedroom. So now we have easy access from our room to the city, which is nice. Uh, but yeah. We're not going to go through this alleyway. We're going to be heading over here to this guns and ammo store. So it looks pretty good. Let's look inside. Is there someone in there? Maybe. Let's go inside. No, it's just one of those things. Ugh. All right. It looks like you can take the guns and the chainsaw off that of the thing, but you don't. You don't. I'm like, you don't. You don't because uh, he's not hungry. He's just making that animation. Uh, because, uh, like, he he says, uh, like, these are too big. I don't really need this. I don't want to go and look at the description because I'll go in the middle of it and then the thin man will get me. But I can read this one real quick. I don't need another handgun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, neither is quite right. One handgun is plenty. Alright, whatever. The door shut tight. Hey! Is anyone- is, the, is there anyone in there? Does that make any sense? Oh, is there anyone in there? <laughs> Who are you? Are you still human? Yes! Thank God you're alive. Let me in. It's not safe in here. Okay, one second. Mm, what's that, dude? Uh-oh. Hey, man, I'm not too good with bright lights in my face. Dude, I need the light off before we talk. Fine. I appreciate it. If you keep doing that, he's like, cheers, bro. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Um, I guess I'll talk to the huddled figure. Thanks for saving my neck back there. What's your name? I'm Hank. What do you want from me, man? I'm not in a good state here. Well, I'm looking for anyone who's still human. Hmm. Yeah. Well, about that. Human would barely be a word I'd use to describe myself. At this point in time. One of those sons of bitches got me. You see, man? I've been holding out as best as I can. But I can feel it starting to take root. It started out as an itch, you know? One I couldn't quite scratch. You know what I mean? Damn. I'm sorry to hear that. So you're gonna turn into one of them, huh? Is that what happens? So they say. Don't really know, to be honest. Infolations. Informations. 
limited on the subject. Wow, you're really in a bad way. How does that sentence make sense? <sighs> There's got to be a cure out there. I'm sure if we keep searching, somewhere out there is an antidote. There must be. Don't know, man. How do you cure being inside goddamned out? Still, survival instinct strong, ain't it? Some reason I don't want to let go quite yet. Anyway, you can see I'm out of supplies. Nothing left to give you but ammo. I see you're fond of a pistol there, bro. It is good to have a round. Well, what I'm after is pills, man. Give me one of those blues, and I'll give you a clip. How's that sound? Are you sure you want to be taking those, Hank? I'm not sure they're safe. Perhaps it's a cure you should be looking for? Think about it, anyway. Hang in there, Hank. Just watch out for those crazies. Let them get too close and you end up like me. Oh, poor Hank. It shut and bolted. Don't worry, I'm sure we can help him out. You shouldn't even be taking other people's pills, dude. And then again, I'm one to say because they're just random pills I find in the sink. <laughs> they're completely bare. Even if I did have something like food on them. I lost my appetite a while back. If you're dying for grub, I know where to get it, though. Check out the grocery store on East Street. It's the weirdest thing, man. Someone restocks the delivery box there every day. Could even be one of those things. Still trying to go about its old routine. Freaky. Thanks for the tip, friend. No problem. It's better than eating rats, anyhow. Yeah, I reckon it is. I'm gonna flash the light in your face again. Could you just move the light out of my eyes, dude? <laughs> That's kind of... <laughs> I said it all. I'm like... <laughs> what are you looking at, piece of shit? Yeah, I'd walk away. <laughs> I want that chainsaw, though. I'd be like the dude from Army of Darkness. I always forget his name. My friend's, like, in love with that movie. I just remember the part where, like, the skeletons, like, they try to, like, poke his eyes, and then, like, he puts his, like, hand, like, vertically in front of his face, and then they poke him from the sides. It's, like, so stupid. And the, like, the witch woman, is, like, because she's, like, attached by strings. It's so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, um, over here, I believe, are three Thin Mans. So. I'm gonna put three here. Look at them. They're so cute. How come every time they walk, they tilt their head to the other side? It's like chickens, you know, bobble their heads. <laughs> Anyways, look at them. They're so hungry. Poor little things. Oh, yeah. And I hope the volume is better this episode. I have no idea why it was, like, really low last episode. I think it's because when I start up my recording program... It, like, automatically goes to a lower level, and I always raise it. So I think I must have forgot last episode, and that's why it was low. So hopefully it should be back to a normal volume. So, sorry about that, but anyways. Um, block down the other side. Oh yeah, and we don't have a map either. I gotta go get one! Here's another hiding place, but, uh, yeah. It's just better if you get all three of them over there. My head! Don't die me now, flashlight! What is this light? Where's it coming from? Wait, do I know you? I don't know. Do you know me? How about now? Do you know me now? We're on the same team, you and I. Aren't we? So I'm gonna ask you again. Do you know me? I know you. I know exactly who you are. You don't need to tell me. Have a seat. Now, let's dance.
Chie? Are you in this together? Or are you making her do this? Chie, wake up! Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. He can look after me now. Can't you see? There's something wrong with this guy. You know my name. Why wouldn't you just say it? He's going crazy. All in his head. Anyways, we got a key here. I feel pretty beat. Dude, you're tired already! I got a gold key. The initials SW are carved into it. Hmm. And... We got a health tonic. Nice. That'll recover from damage from the Thin Men done to you, so it's always nice to have one of those. And to the left over here, we have our map! I got a map of the city. There's something marked on the map already. It's near the city limits. Or at least the limits of the map. I guess that's where I should be heading. Maybe. Alright. So if we keep going over here, be close to collapsing. Ugh. I got a health tonic. Alright guys, I'm just gonna cut real quick to make him go to sleep, and I'll be right back in just a second. Alright guys, uh, real quick for a second, um... I was over here to the left. Um, if you go through this door right here, because I didn't show this, uh, there is a mirror in here, and it's a battery, and a can of beans. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get some sleep real quick, get some rotting meat. I know you're tired! And I'll be back in just a second. Hello, you. What's your name, huh? I bet you don't have one. I should think up a name for you. But you look hungry. I'll see if I can find some food for you. Poor little thing. Oh, it's a kitty cat! What about the kitty cat? Aww. Oh, I crept up on him too fast. I guess I should try another time. I should approach him more carefully next time. Eh, maybe we'll see him again. So hungry. Oh, my God. Ugh. So hungry, and then you examine the thing. This place. I know it somehow. Why, though? It's not like I've been a patient here. Why is it so familiar? Anyway. It's closed. There's a keypad to one side. No point trying. Wait, what? I was like, I thought I'd say no point in trying. No point trying it without the combination. All right, let's have a cooked beans. I cooked some beans during the cut, so yeah. Much better warmed up. Beans really have to survive for this generation. Um. Okay, so I came from up there. We're gonna go over here. All right, fat ass. Look at his gut jiggle. Um, anyway, so what we are going to be doing around here okay. is, uh, we're going to be getting a few things before we go to the, um, the outer limits of the city, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, with the fat men here, you can get really close to them from their backside, and you can hide, but if, of course, you get really close to their front side, they're going to, um, attack you, but yeah, you can get, like, really, like, close behind them. Ah, uh, wait, what's happening? What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell is happening? Uh-oh. My controller's all screwed up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Dude. Ah, you piece of shit. That's what happens when you die. Oh my god, I don't even know what just happened. Like, I think it was my, like, my controller software. I have no idea. It just bugged out. I just, like, exited the game and turned it back on, and everything's okay. So I don't know what the hell just happened. It's barricaded on the other side. I knew something was, hap was happening when I went to the left side. I'm like, uh-oh. No way it's gonna ha open. Oh my gosh, I was, like, all flipping out and shit over there. I was like, I was like, just let me hide. 
Ugh, anyways. Jeez, I always have the worst luck. Anyways, there is a hiding spot, like, right here. There we go. It doesn't look like it, but yeah, you can't hide here. And there's always this little rectangle texture that just sticks out so bad. I don't know why. It just does that. Anyways. Let's just forget about that, and let's just, you know, get what we need to get, which is over here. Grand Espresso Powder, which reminds me, I should take a zip of my awesome Double Express. Looks fantastic. Caffeine isn't a drug. It's a vitamin! <laughs> Anyways, let's look at this car. Hmm. It's pretty wrecked. But there's something poking out there. I got the car battery. Interesting, interesting. Alright, okay. How much flares do I have? Cause I feel like not dealing with this shit. Where are my flares? Or is that to the left? Dude, I have 20 flares. Alright, screw you. Forget you. Ah, yeah, get out of here. You're not gonna kill me. Yeah, you go away too. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the flare, screw it. Alright. Now since we did that... Um, that's where I came from. Let's go over here to the right side. I actually know my way around through the city than the basement. Because the basement isn't that confusing. And here is the grocery store Hank was talking about. Cozy Corner. And I can't see the rest of it because it's really pixelated. Anyways, uh, how much running? Okay, good. I have just enough. Alright, let's do this. Get in. Alright. So there's two thin men in here, and you're going to make them eat the rotting meat because they're so hungry and thin. Just look at them. And we're going to get all the way over here to the right side to the box. Oh, look. And there's a comic here. I got a Sleepy Cat comic. Man, these make me laugh. Let's read it. Maybe I should find somewhere safer to read it. Fine. Uh, if you guys remember, Hank said that every, like, time you wake up from your sleep, you there is uh, food being restocked here in the store, which is weird. Let's open it and see what we got. Okay, let's take a look inside. There's some food in here. Sliced cheese. Could it still be okay? Maybe. Alright, and now we gotta put two more rotting meat over here. So, they can go to the right side. Savings! It looks so cool hiding, it's just like... But it's like, how do they not see him? Maybe they ho they don't have any eyes? I don't know. Possible. What's this? Cash register. What use do I have for cash? I don't know. Something. Um... Let's go a little bit over here. Pick up ammo. Um... Let's see what this is over here. Oh, another comic. Starving. Starving already? I got a Sleepy Cat comic. I love these. Oh, let's read these comics, and I'll end off the episode. So we have two so far. Let's see. Well, it's an intro to Sleepy Cat. Pretty funny, actually. It's like he just shows up somewhere when someone's in trouble, and then he just goes to sleep. But somehow that seems to fix the person's problem. Every time. <laughs> Alright, let's read the next issue. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know where- I don't know how he manages it. But sleeping seems to solve everything for our yellow hero. If only life worked like that. I know, right? Can you imagine if we didn't have any sleep? It'd be like a second life. <laughs> That's what my friend says to me. She used to say that to me. I'd be like, can you imagine with no sleep? It's like having a second life. I just gave you- Didn't I just feed him something? Okay, you know what? Eat some freaking prawn crackers! Alright, mmm, crispy. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna end off the episode here, so... Next time on Lone Survivor... Uh, I guess we're gonna be heading through this little alleyway here. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching, and see you guys later.